Hey there. Um, I'm doing a very quick review on something I bought off um, eBay a couple of weeks back. Um, it's a 7 watt solar panel. Um, it was incredibly cheap. It was about $24 US. Um, I'm always very skeptical of anything I buy off eBay. Uh, a lot of it comes from um, warehouses in China and um, sometimes they fall apart after a couple of uses. This blew me away. This really did. Uh, it's 7 watts of power in two panels. Um, on a moderate sunny day, you can plug your iPhone into this and it will slowly build up a charge. Very slowly. You're probably going to get uh, about 10% charge from an hour. Um, that's whilst it's on and running loads of stuff, like I've got loads of things running on my iPhone. When I turned off my iPhone, I was getting about 15-20% to 20 off a 45 minute period of time. And that's with moderate sunshine. On a couple of days I've taken this out, um, when I've gone out riding with the kids, um, I have pretty much 50% charged up my phone um, just from a few hours. Now, what happens is, um, it's got these nice little holes, so on the back of my backpack I fasten that up the top and it just leans off so I've got one facing directly up and one kind of facing off towards the sun depending on which angle I'm on. Always good to have one facing straight up, especially at the midday point when you've got your meridian and um, the sun directly above you. So on the back of this side you've got a little sealed container area and inside there you've got a USB port. Now I have an extension of my iPhone on there but there's the USB cable. Any kind of USB device can be plugged into there. Um, I've, I've plugged in headphones, chargeable Bluetooth headphones, um, a speaker, Kathmandu speaker I've got. Um, I've also trialled a uh, one of these rechargeable batteries that you can plug your iPhone into as well. What I've done is plug that into here and it's charged up one of these, as far as I know because this doesn't have lights to indicate what charge it's on, but it's pretty much charged this up so that I can charge up my iPhone fully off one of these. Um, so that was pretty good. Uh, what I've done is I've charged this up first, then I've plugged it into my iPhone, charged it up, and I've come home with a full iPhone with pretty much this 50% charged. So you can go out for an entire day, use your phone to take photographs, listen to music, make loads of calls, play a few games on it, and you've still got enough charge for the rest of the evening. No problems at all. So, I mean, you can fasten this to your car, um, windows, top of your backpack. You can leave it on the ground whilst you're having a picnic. Or, or you, if, if you're going for a swim, you can just leave it you know, on, on, the, on the shore side or, or with your gear. Charge up all your devices, you're sweet. Um, I take this travelling with me everywhere. It guarantees that I'm, I'm never going to run out of battery charge. So that was a really, really good purchase. Stoked with it. I'm, um, I've ordered a, uh, a 12,000 amp, not amp, milliamp, um, rechargeable battery, a lot bigger than this. And I'm going to be very curious as to how this manages to charge it up. It can put out approximately 2.7 um, amps, um, which is more than an iPhone power socket when it's direct sunlight on a really hot day with no cloud cover. So I'm thinking it may well charge up one of the bigger batteries. This is a couple of hours. You might be looking at seven or eight hours, an entire day of good sunshine to get a 12,000 um, milliamp battery charged up. So um, highly recommended for any kind of um, travelling where you're not going to have hostels or, or power points for your equipment. If you're like me and you want to have a phone because it's your, it's your camera, it's your communications and it's your link to the internet, which is pretty important nowadays. Awesome, highly recommended.